What's going on, guys? Lockout Man back again with another story time for you. This time coming out of the Sacramento Bee. And this article right here that I'm about to read from, is, it shows that another trucking company has shut its doors, laying off more than 300 workers. That's crazy. That's like... That's like what? One, two, three, about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten companies so far? Or not even so far. It's about nine, ten companies for the for the year 2023, including Yellow, which Yellow is the biggest trucking conglomerate that has shut its doors. I mean, what is going on? What is going on? All these truckers that's putting their loyalties with these companies and and now they're they're out of work now they got to start all over with a whole new company luckily for those that that already had their 401k in place they, they don't have to worry about that because their 401k follows them everywhere you know it doesn't matter if you work for company a b or c your 401k will follow you between A, B, and C. See, that's what I should have learned a long time ago as when I got into trucking nine years ago. Like, I should have started my 401k then. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I think I had a 401k because I I went through some old paperwork. I, I used to work for Nestle back in the day. And I noticed that I had a 401k with them. But I think after I had left them, they sent me something in the mail. And I, I think I took the took the buyout or something like that. And maybe I shouldn't have did that. I think it was like about two grand or something like that. And I took it. I don't know what I did with it. But I, I, I think I should have left it alone because if I would have left it alone, ain't no telling how much would be in my 401k right about now. Like would it would it be enough for me to retire probably not but i probably would have like a a nice little savings to probably get my own truck if i wanted to but in any case for you guys out there that's that's in this industry it's crazy to see how many of these 60 50 plus year companies are going belly up matherson trucking and affiliates laying off more than 300 workers and majority of them are drivers they're based out of sacramento matherson's trucking inc along with two uh, subsidiaries that's up under them are laying off 335 employees closing their doors after more than six decades in operation the company, along with Matherson's Postal Service and Matherson's Flight Extender, details the layoffs and shutdowns and multiple notice to California Employment Development Department. Matherson's entities are a large contractors for the U.S. Postal Service mail across the nation. The layoffs just don't affect sacramento regions but it affects the regions all across the united states this affects more than three thousand employees matherson's main office told a reporter that they had no comment and the reason that they're shutting down is also the same reason that 10 roads laid off maybe about a quarter of their staff as well see both of them companies was the biggest transporters of mail and what the u.s postal service is doing now is they bringing it back in-house they're bringing it back in-house so they're canceling their outside contractors with with these type of carriers so they can get a bigger control of how they you know distribute their mail Matherson's Postal Service and Flight Extender had filed bankruptcy protection in U.S. Bankruptcy Court. They filed a full 
bankruptcy protection. The chapter 11 bankruptcy allows the company to reorganize and make deals with their creditors. Matheson lost postal contracts, a November 30th letter that was sent to their employees. The Matherson companies had experienced tremendous growth within the last five years with both revenue and workforce. However, recent change to our business and drastic loss in the contracts that, that we had with the U.S. Postal Service led us to file Chapter 11 and ultimately make this very difficult decision of the layoffs. Matherson's flight extender was in a dispute with the Postal Service over the operations of two first-class mail transfer centers in Atlanta and Maryland. Matherson spent over $24 million to upgrade the facilities after taking over operations in 2021 but incurred problems obtaining reimbursements. A spokesperson for the Postal Service comment. We are unable to discuss any contractual agreements with our vendors, nor the financial status of Matherson. However, we can assure our customers that there will be no disruption to the U.S. Postal Service. Matherson's entities announced that the Sacramento region's layoffs starting on October 5th and extending through December 1st. The layoffs includes a wide group of employees, including truckers, mechanics, secretaries, accountants, and the CEO of Matherson's Trucking. Some workers was laid off in early December, while others have been given termination notice of January 30th of next year. In addition to its main headquarters in Sacramento, the Matherson's group has also has facilities in Metro Air Parks in Sacramento. Family owned Matherson's was formed in 1962 the Matherson's group of companies was the 11th largest contractor to the Postal Service in the federal fiscal year of 2022 with more than 200 million in revenue. Matherson's. Another one bites the dust right behind 10 roads. Another story of closing comes from Fox 17 concerning a Grand Rapids trucking company up under investigation by the state over alleged allegations of fail to pay employees. According to the Michigan Department of Labor, it has received six wage and hourly complaints within the past year about Excel trucking. We're just waiting and waiting and waiting. According to George, two other employees, the Fox 17 problem solvers has spoken to, said the issues started this past June. George says, it impacted my kids because first and foremost, they the ones that get the money first. So I don't get any money. They can't get any money. George estimates that SL Trucking owes him $3,000. Vicki Lewis and Jennifer, who worked on the administration side of the company, they told the same story. At first, we was given the excuse that it was because of the wire transfer for the funding that didn't come through. And then it was that he had changed banks, so it wasn't set up. Timely to deposit stuff. And then it was somebody had made a mistake. It was always somebody passing the buck to somebody else. Company CEO did not respond to seven Fox 17's numerous requests for an interview. But in 2008, the Michigan attorney's discipline board disbarred the owner of the company for, according to records, misappropriating clients' funds and forging client signatures on checks. This CEO right here 
this owner up right here was was a was a lawyer and he was a dirty lawyer at that so i guess he took his 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 lawyer tactics and decided to open up a trucking company and do some ill stuff with that the ceo blames as sales trucking's credit lenders and apologize for the lack of payment he says i am continuing to work on our financing but i have not yet made the progress i had hoped the ceo reportedly wrote in one message i understand you need to make a decision and make money i understand your frustrations and in many cases anger i am doing all i can and will continue to do so this is hurting drivers man How many other drivers that is hurting from from this situation of a company that just going belly up and on thousands of thousands of thousands of dollars to these drivers and then you guys wonder why these drivers turn out the way they turn out they go postal no pun intended but but yeah man you you know companies that been in business for all these years now going belly up for whatever reason not only leaving drivers stranded but leaving drivers broke and it and it seems as though it always happens at the worst time of the year always happens towards the end of the year always happens when money is 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 prevalent which is at the end of the year times where family is supposed to come together and have a good time times when families come together to enjoy themselves a time for drivers to to get off the road and spend time with their families their loved ones their children now only to get off the road with with stress and problems they supposed to be going home for christmas and rest and spend time with their family not going home stress and worrying about how they're going to pay their bills how they're going to put their kids toys up under the christmas tree how they're going to explain to their wife that the company 60 30 60 50 years has gone belly up and now i gotta I, I gotta start all over again i gotta i gotta put my name out there again so instead of making a dollar a mile now i gotta fall right back and drive for a company for 60 cent a mile 70 cent a mile because the going rate for these new for, for these companies that's offering drivers is 60 cent maybe 65 cent depending on what you're doing hopefully you will have all your endorsements and your license is not restricted because then maybe you can you can negotiate your worth hey i i got my tankers i got my hazmat i got my 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 passengers i got all of that and i'm not restricted to just driving an automatic truck so we're talking 20 30 years of driving so we're not going to be talking no 60 cent a mile we're going to at least talk 80 80 and more hopefully you guys can can get that but it just seems as though that these companies always seems to go belly up at the wrong time of the year drivers let's get the conversation started in the comments below this is messed up hopefully them drivers is able to bounce back